GA enters its 126th year. Thousands of fans will gather in Croke Park and surrounding pitches to cheer on their GA idols. We went along to the GA Museum in Croke Park during the week to see all the different memorabilia and learn more about our native sport. Here's how we got on. The Croke Park Museum opened its doors to the public in September 1998 when the former Taoiseach Bertie Ahern performed the opening honours. The museum was established to remember and celebrate the GEA's contribution to Irish sports and it's a big one with thousands of clubs throughout Ireland involved in the association. We went along to the GEA Museum in Croke Park to take a look at the vast array of memorabilia on display for fans and tourists and also to catch a word with the GEA legend. Walking through the museum, there are people of all ages enjoying their tour, some perhaps remembering their own sporting achievements, others hoping to improve their football or hurling skills. In short, there's something for everyone here. One man steeped in GA history is All-Ireland medal winner and ex-Dublin player and manager Brian Mullins. The Dublin legend has won many honours throughout his football career. We caught up with him in the museum to see his favourite spots and why they are so important to him. I chose this spot because uh, I have a special connection with this spot which I only recently discovered. This jersey that's displayed here is actually a jersey belonging to my uncle, my uncle Bill Casey who played with Kerry uh, for an eight all Ireland finals and won five of them. And the jersey uh, here displayed here was the one he wore in the polo grounds in 1947 which was another special date. He was my mother's brother and uh, a famous Kerry football legend. And as you know, this museum is all about legend and uh, value and lineage. So I'm very happy that I have a connection straight through with one part of this um, museum. The GAA is famous, of course, for many historical meetings, speeches, trophies and heroes from the past and present. As we take a look through the museum, we see how times have changed since the GAA was first established in Thurles in 1884. Most supporters in Ireland cheer on their county and clubs during the GEA season, but without all the volunteers in the clubs and counties, the GEA would not be where it is today. One section of the museum that Brian picked was the clubs and community section. Here he tells us why clubs are so important within the GEA infrastructure. I love this part of the museum as well, and I suppose if I was to be asked where the favourite is, it's, it's here, because this is, you know, represents what the term often used is the grassroots of the organization really this is the parish this is what uh, everybody has the opportunity to buy into which is the local community the local effort it's great that uh, Crow Park and the GA authorities give such an important par place to the clubs as represented on St. Patrick's Day by the club finalists that's only one aspect of it we have finals of other club competitions in Crow Park as well as the GA enters its 126th year, the museum will have thousands of spectators and tourists coming through its doors. It continues to grow from strength to strength. The museum has plenty to offer for the discerning sports fan. To contact the museum, you can log on to croakepark.ie or ring 01 819 2323.